see it for a second. Sure thing, Dr. Dawkins. Come in. Go, Kirk. Can you give us a minute? Oh, this won't take a minute. Thanks, Dr. D. By the way, you're looking casket sharp, man. Yeah, right? Leave. Josh. You know that from the very first day I met you, I really, really disliked you. I could say. Don't interrupt. And when you asked for Crystal's hand, you remember what I told you. That's not rhetorical, you can answer. Um, you said if, if Crystal loves you enough to say yes, then I had to get her head examined. But I won't stand in your way. That's right. Now I'm supposed to get my baby away. But mark my words, you can marry my daughter, but I will never, ever give her away. Dr. Dawkins, promise. To love her, cherish her, protect her with my life. Don't touch. Son, you ever hurt my child? I will pull your toenails out through your eyeballs and grind them to dust. Sure thing, sir. I understand. <laughs> Call me dad. Sure thing, dad. No. Call me Dr. Dawkins. You okay, man? I thought I was going to have to shoot that psychiatrist. Yeah, Kirk. Why the hell am I so nervous, man? It's supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Well, you know you got to wax that ass later, that's why. What? Can't keep doing the same shit you been doing. Oh, Crystal. Oh, so horny. <laughs> You stupid. You gotta lay that ass down tonight. Ask her, what's my name? You will have a son nine months from now. So that's how you're gonna share and make a little Kurt, right? Damn straight. If you make it say your name as long as you got a masculine name, her body will produce a male. Science, son. Like I said, you're stupid. Ask your mama you think I'm lying. That's, that's how she made mama, you. I came to drink. Nice to meet y'all. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Oh, wow, it's Cam. It's just really Cam. Yeah. Well, I came to drink. There he is. I know that voice. Hey, hey. Man, when I heard my voice time tonight, I wasn't going to miss this for the world. I hope not. I hope so, not. Uh, who is this chick, man? She still selling weed? No, 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 no. That's another part oh, of it. Oh, man, I'm look here. I'm glad because that one there, she sold enough weed to pay for all of this. You don't have to. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but no, nah, man. Uh, so, oh, yeah, man. So um, I see you got one medal on. Where the other two at? Well, I bought one just to rub this in Kurt's face. Where the hell is Kurt Alingus? Oh, man, you know him. He's probably up back there eating the whole bar. Okay, like. well, fuck him. Ah, you make this your best man. Anyway. You know I would not have made him my best man if you was here, bro. I was just right there in Europe. Right, yeah. right. And I'm here I'm about to get married, so. Ain't no big deal. Man. Right, you right, know, right, right. And I'm chilling. Getting married. Yeah, okay, Wait, okay. Wait, wait, wait. But you're all right, man. You look a little beat down. You right. nervous, man? What? Bruh, hey. Ain't nothing hey. to it but to walk down the aisle, bruh. Uh, hey. Now, my man, look here. I'm going to go out here and get my jacket on. I don't want to flash too much. <laughs> I'll meet you and Kurt over in the cut, all right? All right, man. All right. All right. Get your little turpentine wrap. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Bad as hell, just like his mama. That's you over there, Kirk? Man, how no good gamma like you pull a beauty like that? Who's Sharon? 
met her five years ago at the job. Stopped gambling ever since she told me she was having that big headed boy of mine. So you didn't bet on your boy winning the gold in Rio? Put my hard earned money on you. Stop playing with yourself. Anyway, Josh, you've done well for yourself, man. Long way since college. Yo, we all done well, bro. Uh, you still sleepwalking? <laughs> nah, nah, I got that taken care of. I hope so. I remember that day he ran to the living room grabbing his dick yelling, Captain, hold, hold this ship. ship. I'm, I'm getting, getting on, on that, that boat, bitch. <laughs> I'm surprised, Josh. I'm gonna be someone's husband. Thought that's what you wanted. Yeah, I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack, bro. Oh, uh, Josh, relax. Breathe. It's just your nerves, baby. I get like that myself before a major event. This ain't about you, Sasquatch. Move out the way. I'm the best man. It's mint water. It, it'll calm you down. Drink it, drink it. Better? I'm Damon. I'm an uh, old family friend of the bride's. You a doctor? You can say that. I was about to say, man, yeah, just walking around with mint water. Thanks for your help, man. Of course, all right. You're walking the dream. Oh my God, I, I, I love your performance at the Olympics, uh, the judo, the judo finals, and, and the pomo awards. <laughs> oh my God, this is happening. Yo, yo Damon, Damon. Um, thanks for the help, man. Uh, we, I need some time with my fellas. So we gotta get, we gotta get ready. Of course, of course. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Well, uh, Crystal is a lucky girl. Actually, I think I'm the lucky one. Yes, you're right. Well, hope you feel better. Thanks again, Damon. Yo, I feel wonderful, man. A minute ago, I thought I was going to have to call the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> man, man. Yo, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Crystal came along just when I thought there were no more good ones. Yo, Kurt, what was that you used to say about women? Women are like parking spaces. All the good ones are taken, and the ones that's left are handicapped. Right, right, yep. I believed them, too. So Crystal came along. Man, she handicapped. She is not. Her dad is a psychiatrist, which means she's mental. Why else would she choose you? She be handicapped around this bitch like a mug. I ain't gonna lie though, Josh. When I got the email about this marriage, man, I thought you'd mess around and knock some girl up. Nah, Joaquin, man, she's um, she's perfect. Uh, a dream come true. Well, I'm looking here. I mean, she is beautiful, but is she beautiful on the inside? Oh, even more. Damien. Dr. Dr. Dawkins, what a surprise to see you here. Surprise? To see me at my daughter's own wedding. It just, I, in the lobby, I thought you'd be giving Crystal a lecture about the mistakes she's making. Damien, what are you doing here? You sure as hell weren't invited. I just here to pay my respects. Respects? This is a wedding, not a funeral. It's it. Damien, what did you do? There you go. You don't you don't look good, Josh. Oh, I see you, man. I'm gonna lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Man, you walking down the aisle in five minutes. Right. Josh. 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 Somebody call the ambulance. 
Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Kurt, what are you doing in my clothes and why are you not dressed? We have to be in a wedding in like five minutes. Get up, let's go. Wedding? Fool, you is not my type. Kurt, look, we do not have time for this. Chris is about to walk down an aisle and I have to be there like now. Josh, Josh, right now. Josh, calm down, man. I told you about eating beans before going to bed. Why are we back here? We live here, Josh. What the hell going on in here now? The dream? Dream? What dream? This fool sleepwalking again. He's fat. He looks like he did five years ago, but worse. No, five years ago he looked like JJ. Now his fat ass looked like Booker. Where's Crystal? I don't know no goddamn Crystal, Josh. She's starting to scare me. Kurt, try to remember. We were, you were my best man. We was about to walk down the aisle and Crystal was about to marry me. Look, man. There's no Crystal. There's no wedding. You need to snap out of it. Janine's about to come take you to work. Janine, work. I broke up with Janine five years ago, man. Y'all only been talking about a year. Matter of fact, that's her at the door. You want me to get it? You gotta be kidding me. Hey, hey, Josh. Why are you here? Duh, to take you to work, Josh. You tripping. No, I'm saying, why are you showing up on my wedding day? I broke up with you five years ago, Janine. <laughs> Smoking? You said today is your wedding day. To who? Where that bitch at? Look, stop. Look, I broke up with you because you were cheating on me with old boy from the gas station. Whoever told you that, they're lying. I lying. walked in on you, remember? You walked in. You been talking to Juju? That's right, Juju. You told me the only reason you was messing with him because he was hooking you up with free gas and you need a provider. Look. I knew sooner or later this shit was gonna come out. So just be a man for once in your sorry ass life and tell me who told you. Was it Shawana? That jealous ass hating ass bitch. I am in the fucking Twilight Zone. Well, if your sorry ass had a car, a crib, or something going on in your life, Josh, maybe I wouldn't have fucked them. Right. That's the same thing you told me five years ago, and then I got a car, I landed my sweet ass job where I met Crystal. Well, where's the car, bitch? You know what? I'm trying to do you a favor. <sighs> Fuck you and your raggedy ass bitch. <sighs> Why you tell that girl about that bullshit wedding? How you gonna get to work now? You gonna lose your job, man. Kurt, what kind of car do I drive? Whatever car your broke ass can borrow. No, Kurt, specifically what car do I own? You ain't got no car, man. This don't make sense to me. What year is it? Be serious, Kurt. It is 915, June 19th, the year of our Lord, 2013. 2013. 2013. 2013. 2013. 2013. 2013. 2013. You think he's dead? Oh man, I seen this in movies. People just go on the shock and then pass out. You still here? Yeah, we want to know. Look, the year's 2018. If this is 2013, then I'm from the future. He must have hit his head. You better get him to the hospital. How did you know Janine was sleeping with old boy? Was her goose a little loose? Look, I've done all this already. We have not lived together since 2014. Kurt, you married Sharon after you got her pregnant. And Dream, you won three gold medals in the 2016 Olympics, man. Who the hell is Sharon? Your wife. She worked with you at the plant. We ain't got no females that work at the job, man. And hey, who the hell is Dream? You. That's what America calls you right after the Olympics. <laughs> nah, I know he hit his head. Get him to the doctor. Three gold medals at the Olympics. 
Only if they're giving medals out for eating, sleeping, and farting. Uh -huh. Oh, man. That's worth two goals right there. Mr. Punjabi? Oh, Mr. Punjabi, Mr. Punjabi, eh? Why did you say that work? Eh, these dishes are not gonna wash themselves, you know? Mr. Punjabi, I don't, I don't work there anymore. Oh, and then what were you going to tell me, eh? What are you gonna tell me? Uh, look, if I, look, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just not feeling well right now, Mr. Punjabi. No, I'm gonna have to dock your pay. And on top of that, I'm gonna have to call my brother to come and help me wash these dishes. Hola, no la sé. Take it over there. Take it over there. And you know what he's gonna tell me, eh? He's gonna tell me, I cannot do that there. I cannot do that there. I'll say, que pute, que ya, you son of a bitch. I'm not a dishwasher anymore. I am a successful photographer. I drive a Lexus, and Chris is about to marry me, the most wonderful girl in the world. So what do I do in this future of yours? You do what you do. You work at the plant. Man, fuck you and the future of yours. I, I gotta get to work, man. Promise me you won't leave till I get back, or at least till you come to your senses. Kurt, you cannot leave, bro. I need your help right now. I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. Look, man, I'm off the next two days, but right now, rent's due. Look, we'll work this thing out when I get back. Hope you got your part of the rent, Josh. I'm still here. Hey, cut this shit out, Josh. I gotta meet the landlord in the morning. I need your third nine. I don't know who my wallet is. I don't know what the fuck anything is. As a matter of fact, I don't even know how the hell I got here and what the fuck happened to you. Not with this Olympic shit again, man. Look at you. You were never this fat. I'm gonna be all right, okay? I'm just going through something right now. Jesus, Joaquin. You are the nation's golden boy. You won three gold medals, but not like this. Not like that. Yeah. This bullshit act of yours trying to boost my head up still not going to get you out of paying your third. Right, right. So, look, how about I go to the bank in the morning, I'll just withdraw it. I'll take it out. You ain't going down to the bank tomorrow and you withdraw it. <laughs> That's what you're going to do, huh? What you going to do when you get down there? Stick them up? You ain't got no bank account, man. Let me remind you who you are, okay? You a cool but broke college student. Washing dishes over at the Bombay Palace. I'm in college? You don't know. That's right. And living off your financial aid. You don't forget? I must have fell through a, a portal or something. I have to get back to where I'm from. Look, I cannot relive these years all over. At all. This sleepwalking shit of yours is getting out of hand. Josh, man, you need to go see a doctor. So let me get this straight. So you telling me I don't have a car yet? No. You telling me I don't have a bank account? And I'm finishing up school at Clayton State. Oh, hold on. You finishing if you pass your finals next week. <laughs> I'm not ready for no... I haven't studied that shit in five years. I cannot do no finals. You know what? 
I'm making your ass appointment in the morning. What's wrong with me? No, what's wrong with your ass? What's up, bro? You gonna tell me what's going on? What? What's up? Describe Sharon. Um, she's brown skin, dimples. How's her ass? Come on, bro. It's your wife. I ain't about to. Man, fuck. How's her ass, man? This is like apple, pancake, two basketballs. Man, I guess like an upside down heart. I'll be there. Here she came with her five foot frame. Ass looking so fat, like an upside down heart. But I knew that was wifey the way she made my be tougher than old folks' feet. Her name is Sharon, and I believe you when you say that's my wife. Okay, but what does that have to do with me? It doesn't help me out at all. It's not about you, man. So do I get her pregnant before we get married? You told me. You got her pregnant when you got her to say your name when y'all was having sex. That's what my uncle used to say when I was just a boy. Right, and that's what you told me at the wedding. So does she like it raw, or did I trick her to take the condom off? Raw one there? What kind of question is that? All right, Gus. After today, I believe you. You're definitely from the future. Kurt, I'm not from the future. I fell back through the past, and I don't want to be here at all. Hello? Hello? What's going on? All right. Hey, look. Why can't you make an appointment for you to see the shrink in the morning? I don't need to see a shrink. I need, I need. What, a time machine? Look, let's at least see what he has to say. Mr. Gibson, the doctor will see you now. Dr. Dawkins, Joshua Gibson is here to see you. Dr. Dawkins? Yeah, Joshua, right? Joaquin called me last night and asked if I could squeeze in a friend of his with a serious problem. I didn't know he knew you. Dr. Client privilege, let's focus on you. I know you very well in the future, like five years from now. And I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Yeah. I know you. <laughs> Just slow down. Take it easy. Breathe. Try to take inhale. Two, three. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. That's it. That's better. Yeah. Have a seat. Why don't you start by um, telling me a little bit about your father? What does that have to do with my father? Look, yesterday I was living in 2018. I'm about to marry the most wonderful girl in my dreams, and through some terrible accident, I wake up here in 2013. Uh, this accident, did you hit your head? Doc, what if you woke up tomorrow and the last five years of your life never took place? So I woke up five years younger, <laughs> okay. Well, physically, yes, mentally, no. You knew what was gonna happen for the next five years, but no one else knew. That's an interesting concept. You're suggesting that that's what happened? Look, I'm more than suggesting, I'm telling you. That's why everybody thinks I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. Uh -huh. um, just girlfriend, did she break up with you? No. 
Like I said, I woke up here and I can't relive this. Okay, uh, we've got very limited time here. Uh, so my goal is going to be to begin to ground you in reality. Let's start by discussing time travel. Great, great. So I need to get back to 2018. I cannot relive this shit. Yeah, time travel is a theory. <laughs> a theory that given the laws of the universe is impossible. So what? You said I can't go back? I'm saying you can create your own future now. The choices you make today can create a bright and prosperous future for you. But you can only do it one day at a time. This day. This time. I need to get up. Your shame go. All right. Uh, let's suppose that you found your dream girl. Are you her dream man? In this condition, are you worthy of her? Huh? No. 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 My future starts with her. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pencil you in for two days from now, and I'm gonna write your prescription. You never answered my question, though. If you could do the last five years over, what would you do? That's got nothing to do. Okay. All right. Five years, huh? Well, five years, that'd be before... And I'd sure as hell send my daughter off to college so that she wasn't wasting her life at the CDC chasing after that fool of a boyfriend of hers. The CDC? Yeah. It's nice to dream about do-overs, but life doesn't work that way. You need to wear the pain. Here. Get some Prozac. Thank you. Yes, if you have suicidal thoughts, call 911. Okay. Talk me and my mom whatever you want. How may I help you, Gordis? Um, are you Kevin Moss? The one and only. Yeah, uh, security told me to come see you for job openings. I was trying to see if you had any. <sighs> I really wish they wouldn't do that. But come to my office. Resume. So, what are you looking for? To be honest, anything right now. Like, I'm a college student, and yeah, I'm just looking for work. And look what happened that you've been sent right here to me. Dishwasher. The only thing we have open now is in housekeeping. Do you think you could handle a stick? I mean, a, a broom <clears throat> and mop, like 10 to 3? Yes, sir. 
Don't be so formal with me. You can call me Kevin. Or just call me. Thanks for the opportunity. Why you stopped me? I was almost there. I was right there. I could have just talked to her, man. What was you gonna do? Come off like some type of stalker or something? You don't even know her. What are you doing over there? Need some time for yourself? Damn, can't have no privacy. So I take it Dr. Uh, Dawkins couldn't help you at all, huh? What are you doing seeing Dr. Dawkins in the first place, Joaquin? Uh, I see him for depression. And I thought maybe he could help you with whatever this is you're going through. Depression? Yeah. Joaquin, do you know why they call you the dream? No, I don't know. You busted your ass for weeks at the gym. Preparing for judo. Oh, I did. Well, you know I do love kicking ass, Josh. Right. You did all that, and then you approached the coaches and asked them could they take you down to the competition in Louisiana. They told you that they did not have any room. But you know what you did? Oh, what I, I don't know. You offered to pump the gas for the bus every time the bus was stopped. If you'll park your car next to the gas pump, after you fill the bus up, you'll fill your car up as well. That's stealing, Josh. I mean, because I ain't no thief now. Well, you did what you had to do. Then you oppressed the judges by kicking some ass, and the rest is history. That's why you the dream. Was you really just going to come off as some type of stalker and, and try to talk to her? You need to come up with a plan. What plan, Kurt? You got to think about that. You must really love this new girl here. <clears throat> What's your name is? Cinnamon? No, um, it's Crystal. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you mind if I grab your trash? Um, I did it earlier, but thanks. You took the trash out? That's no way. Excuse me? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, you just don't seem like the type that likes to take out the trash. I don't like to take it out, but it needs to be done. I didn't know we hired a new housekeeping person. Yeah, um, hi, I'm Josh. Hello, Josh. My name's Crystal. Interrupting something? Hi, um, no, I was just introducing myself to the new janitor, um, Josh. Um, hi, baby. Hey. I do have that effect on people. Damien Bass. Okay. Well, when you're done playing around in here, I need you to go to lab 1603 and do a good job. I fired the last janitor who didn't. <laughs> Come on, baby. I'm starved. See you around, Josh. Could I be dreaming? Or have I lost my mind? I thought she was my girl, but it was only in my mind. I must be dreaming. I lost my mind Could have sworn she was my girl But it was only in my mind Am I crazy? Have I lost my mind? I was looking in the glass I thought I saw a sign It seems we never get the things we try to find It seems we never can connect We running out of time So I got that new whip Turn my swag on Girl, I can still remember Wow, John Great job Good Josh work. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, good job. You're dismissed. Hey, uh, you mind if I ask, uh, what do you do here? Oh, you don't know? I'm the CDC's top chemist and just awarded a presidential uh, uh, honor award on top of the secret government program. Like time travel? 
Oh, nah, time machines? Nah, nah, nah. I deal with neurotoxins. Neurotoxins? Yeah, yeah. Very complicated field of study. Hmm. So, um, you and Crystal, y'all together? Hmm. Listen, Jake, I know you're new here, so I'm going to help you out this once. Your only job here is to clean up the mess that I make. <laughs> Josh, and um, this is just a temporary job. It's going to be real temporary if you don't mind your business and leave mine alone. Good day. Oops. Clean that up before you go. Take a minute. Okay, look, I'll make this quick. Sister, since the minute I first saw you, I felt like I know you my whole life. I felt like I knew your deepest desires and what truly makes you happy in life. <laughs> Whoa, Josh. It's coming on a bit strong, don't you think? Are you asking me out? I'm flattered, but I do have a boyfriend. Really? That guy? Don't be a jerk. Please respect my space and my relationship. Crystal, please, just one dinner. Some reggae music, a Long Island tea, two lemon wedges. I promise you see things different. Long Island iced tea, that's my favorite drink. It's the first drink I ever had. Yeah, I know, um, 21st birthday party out with the girls. Do I know you? No, not yet. But if you just give me a chance. I have to get back to work. Um. Please respect my wishes and and keep your space. Have a nice day. Just think about it. Why does this voice sound so familiar? This smile feels so warm. Could I be falling for a stranger? did you get in here? Rick, please let me explain. I'm calling the police. Please just hear me out. Three years from now, a hungry college graduate will come knocking at your door for an opportunity. And that gives you a reason to break into my place? No, it doesn't. But you gave him the opportunity and you gave him the code to your door. You're not making any sense. Look, it isn't making any sense to me either. In the future, together, we become one of the biggest <laughs> photography studios in Atlanta. Three years from now. Yeah. Um, Rick, please, please stay on top of your doctor's appointments. Look out for your prostate. And stay away from opioids by any means. What are you, some kind of guardian angel? No, I'm not a guardian angel. You are. You are to a lot of people. I gotta go meet with my friend Kurt. Sorry that I startled you. I just had to let you know.
Kurt. Oh, what's up, Josh? This is my boy I was telling you about. I told you I need to talk to you alone, man. Relax, man. She's cool with it. She actually wants to help. Hi, Josh. Kurt told me all about you, but I thought he was just using some crazy-ass pickup line. What, what pickup line? He said, hey, lady, my friend just came back from the future where he sees you having my baby. And that worked. Hell no. But I thought he was cute, so I went to lunch with him today, and here I am. <laughs> Look, you can talk in the open, dog. She's like you say, good people. Okay, so Krista has a boyfriend. And on top of that, I think it's the dude that's responsible for getting me into all this mess. What? All right, so he showed up at my wedding. He put something in my drink, knocked me out. It must have been some type of top secret government program stuff, but. Like time travel? The Falcons win the Super Bowl in the future? Nah, they, uh, they lose. Um, Brady comes back from a shitload last year to win and make history. Last year? Yeah, well, 2017. I'm currently living in 2018, so. Yeah, last year. That's cool. Who takes office after President Obama? Joe Biden? Trump. Trump who? Donald Trump. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. wait. <laughs> You're joking, right? I can't even follow you on this one. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. American have lost their mind. They done lost their mind. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, how'd you meet Crystal in the first place? Um, we met at a co-worker's New Year's Eve party, but that doesn't happen for a whole nother three years. So you mopping her floors and she has a man? You need to move on. The time's not right. How, Kirk? If I have to do these next five years over, okay, that's fine. But I cannot do it without her. You want some pussy? What? Sorry, I... That was so beautiful. Like, Hey, look, you have my baby in the future, not his. All right, all right, so what am I supposed to do now? Break them up and charm her. You already know how to do that, right? Yeah, but she's the loyal type, and I don't know what she sees in this dude. Just send some flowers in the morning, claiming he was good in bed. Break the wedge and move in. Are you used to tricking people? Baby, it's not about you. What you need to do is go get you some wet wipes to clean yourself up. Talking about it's got you boys. So, you think this will work? All we can do is try. Let me chop you my ass. You see this shit? I don't know why I listened to your ass in the first place. Look, I told you, you are the man, Joaquin. Do you have my money, man? Nah, look, I got a new job. I'm waiting on a check to come from uh, Bombay Palace. It should be here any day. Look around in here. Tell me what you see. I see what you see. You see a charity house, don't you? A charity house for food, huh? <laughs> no, no, I need my rent money. I don't remember you being this mean, man. It must be your fat. You know what made me think you were telling the truth about this? What? This. I told you. And I just saw that and I thought, well, maybe if I could get myself motivated, maybe I could make what you said come true. It will and you can. But you gotta start today, man. You gotta start today. And you know what? What you told me about you going to see Dr. Dawkins for your depression, I understand you're not where you want to be in your life right now. I understand that. Maybe not physically or mentally, but it can lead to your depression. Well, you know, I just, I thought maybe you could help you whatever you're going through. Well, Kim, that's my father-in-law. See, every time, that's where you go. Stop talking about the future, Josh. It's only the here and now. And right now, here now is a fucked up place to be. It don't have to be. At all. It don't gotta be. It don't have to be. Well, I'll tell you what, Josh. Help me help you. How? Okay. 
I'll give you a pass on your rent money this month. Okay? If you help me, I'm going to work out in the gym. Really? Oh, cool. You like that, don't you? <laughs> hey, you smile at night. <laughs> you like that. Well, and, and, and you taking this girl out, I mean, how you going to take her out on a bus pass? I really haven't given her much thought. I mean, now's the time to start thinking. What make you think this girl is into you in the first place? I mean, you know, this girl could be in the party. She could be in the experiment with women. You just don't know, Josh. Don't say that, man. Don't say that. Okay. Don't say that. Okay, okay. Listen. Help me out with my workouts, and I'll help you out with your cash flow problem. You know, because, uh, listen. No romance without finance. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's why I came out of Lose that fat. Yeah, Lose the fat. Get my ass. <laughs> Joshua, can I see you for a moment? Yeah. Did you fail to clean Office 1603 yesterday? Yeah, I cleaned it well. It's not what the staff is saying. They say that you left a hazard on the floor where the staff could have injured themselves. Staff meaning Damon. Look, he's lying. He put water on the floor trying to make me look bad. Oh, my. If you think I better walk behind him, clean up behind his ass like he's some type of god, he got another thing coming. Yes, yes. I, I hate him, too. Do I need to go talk to him? I, I need to go talk to him right now, don't I? No, he's only acting like some big shot because he won the highest level achievement for biochemical research. And that is? He invented some chemical that does something or another. And the agency is holding a dinner this Friday for his honor. I still think I need to go talk to him. No, no, don't be silly. You just go about your work, and I'll take care of you. I mean, this situation. Do you have a date for this? The company's dinner? I mean, everyone will be there, and I'll be there all alone. So I... I'm not gay, Kevin Moss. Playing hard to get. So who was she, Damien? I don't know. She must be mistaken. You were wonderful in bed last night? Crystal. X O X X X? Babe, you know I was working late last night. Three X's, Damien? Really? We'll talk about this another time. My daddy was so right about men like you, men I like should have listened. Yes, self-absorbed little men like you who go around proving themselves by sleeping with other women. I haven't done anything. Wonderful and bad. <laughs> that lying bitch. Reggae music and dinner, right? Yeah. Meet me at Footprints off 285 tonight at 7. You bet. What did she say? Um, she said she's done with you, dog. It's been a terrible misunderstanding. A, a, a woman came in here, dropped these flowers off for me, and I have no idea who she is. Right, right, right. Look, you ain't got to explain nothing to me, fam. Mm -hmm. I'm just a janitor. Yeah, did, did I call for you? Scary. You look fine. Why are we here so early? You know how Atlanta traffic be. We gotta be here. Hey, Sharon. Thanks again for helping my boy Josh with the flower delivery. Mm -hmm. Yo, real talk? Mm -hmm. Like, seriously. It was clutch. Clutch. <laughs> perfect. It worked out perfect. Glad that I can help. But thank you for paying for my drinks tonight. Mine too. Mm -hmm. No gas cheap. I'm saying. <laughs> look, Josh. Be confident tonight. Take control. And make that woman yours. Okay. That's what I plan to do. I'll get him back there. 
Go inside and get a table for us. Let me talk to my boy Josh for a minute. <laughs> Look, man, whatever you're going to do, just drop me back off at the crib first. The calculations for it should be printed by the morning. Oh, look, there she go right there. That's her right there, bro. That's the girl you all crazy about? What she mixed with? Albina? Hey, shut up. Come on. Huh. Hope you step your wardrobe up in the future. Take a rum punch, and she will have a you know, Long Island with two lemon slices and uh, two waters, please. I just pure drink. I drink. I got it. Can you give us a little time? Listen, the kitchen I go close to, so you need five of your food now. Um, okay, well, I know what I want. I'll have um, oxtail on um, rice and peas and cabbage for the side, please. What about you? Um, yeah, I still need a little time. <laughs> you let her not get on her bad side. Or else you have a lot of extra gravy on your food. Extra gravy means a lot of it, right? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> and the night's still young. It's actually my friend, uh, Kurt, and his new girl, Sharon. We go ahead. Oh, that was nice of you to bring your friend and his girl out for a date. Well, nah, they, they brought me. I don't have a car right now, so. Oh. <clears throat> If I was your girl, would you cheat on me? No. Wow. I believe you. But all men cheat, Josh. All men have the capability to cheat. As do women. But if you're asking me if I will lay with another to betray you, the answer is no. The song is over. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I can't dance. <laughs> and you weren't lying. 
I'm so sorry. I will never ask you to dance again. <laughs> good, good. Because the food will be up shortly and the kitchen is not closed. Well, I didn't get a chance to order. It's too bad. My tell is if I had something already and you're going like to see my all night. The kitchen is closed. Jamaicans so bad with customer service. Hey, now, easy on the Jamaicans. I'll share my dinner with you. Thank you. Your friends, him, you have him, Bill. Where'd they go? They left. And um, please remember gratuity. $120? Remy Martin, not cheap. You understand? I don't got that kind of money with me. Are you serious? Where you officer now, post or? Hmm? Uh, oh, hey, I'll pay for it. It's, it's no problem. And can I have my food to go, please? Uh, I'll pay you back. Don't worry about it, Josh. Uh, here you go, Miss Lady. I think coming here was a mistake. It was not a mistake. Please let me make it up to you. At the words this Friday. Please. Us show up together. While Damien's receiving the award for biggest asshole? Thank you. Okay, Josh, it's a date. Um, well, let me just walk you to your car. No, it's okay. Um, I'll have valet pull it around. Good night, Josh. Poor sword. Can I take off now? Just for 15. Hello, Josh. How you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I'm actually coming to grip this reality. Uh, this reality, huh? All right, any side effects from the Prozac? I'm not taking Prozac. Really? I could have sworn it was Prozac. Uh, I must have notated wrong. What, what did I prescribe? Ritalin? Look, Doc, I'm not taking any medication. Well, how the hell do you expect to get better if you don't follow the treatment? You're just wasting your time and mine. Look, you told me to come back here in 48 hours. I'm here. I don't belong here, but I'm here. Right. You belong in 2018. Right. Tell me, are there flying cars in 2018? Yeah, they're actually working on one now. <laughs> but they have a hover bike. It has drum propellers on the front and drum <laughs> propellers on the back. <laughs> Yeah, Josh. Josh. Wow. Okay. Uh, my professional recommendation is that you check yourself into a psych ward for 30 days of observation. Look, that's not an option for me, Doc. I'm on my way to reclaiming my life, and I don't care what anyone thinks. Okay. I wish you well, Josh. You don't seem to be a threat to yourself, so I don't need to contact the authorities, right? Right. Do you love your family, Dr. Dawkins? What? Are you threatening my family? No, 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 well, no. What's this about my family? I saw you staring at my daughter's picture. I didn't mean no disrespect. I'm just saying. Was... All right. a little. Ever since my wife passed and we moved here from Jamaica, I've been just a tad overprotective, I guess. I understand. But, you know, <laughs> what if someone told you that you don't love your family? You would look at them as if they were crazy, right? Right. So that's the same way I feel when people tell me that the reality that I know in love doesn't exist. Yeah, but Joshua, if you force your vision on reality, it's bound to change it. Life unfolds day by day, naturally. Look, I gave nature a little push, so now it's flowing in the right direction, naturally. Ugh. <sighs> Every couple decades or so, Case comes along that boggles the mind. You're that case. Right. So look, I got a hit with Raheem. 
things, Doc. And I'll yeah. be seeing you soon. Check, man. So you really think six months of this and I'll be ready for the games? I'll be ready for the goal in six months. Nah, not six months, but you impressed the coaches in six months. It took about two years and a lot of hard work to get to that level. Then, in 2016, guaranteed championship, man. Guaranteed Olympic. Well, hey, I like the sound of that. But what, are, what about you, Josh? What's next for you, man? Man, I'm taking it day by day, one day at a time. You know, I can do anything with Crystal by my side. <laughs> you know, I like this you, Josh. I mean, you know, more driven, more decisive about your life, man. Yeah, man, you know, it's the power of the pussy. <laughs> you know, love, Joaquin, love. Okay, love. P-U-S-S-Y, love. <laughs> no. That's what you want to call it. So when you smash it anyway? Man, I had to wait till the sixth day, man. She made a brother wait. She made a brother wait. Well, okay, well, after tomorrow night, four more dates, and then it's off the pussy bill. Oh, love bill. Sorry. Yeah, love is bill. Well, speaking of tomorrow night. Oh, here we go. The black tie fair. You know, I was trying to see if you can rent me a tux, man. A tux? Shit, man. You got that. You've been about to help to me and doctor. What's his name? Dr. Dawkins. Now, for that touch, you gotta do one thing. What I gotta do? Breathe deep. Five more. I think my ball just dropped for real. <laughs> Josh, I ain't never told stuff. nobody, man. All this time, I only had one ball. One, <laughs> so you mean to tell me when you came growing up as a teenager, you came out the womb with one ball? One ball. I ain't never told nobody. One girl saw it one time. You don't what try to one, one ball. They think it's an amputee. Amputee. Yeah. They don't know what's wrong with it. One ball. Who I'm knows? back. I'm back. I got two now. Well, hold on. I might have three. <laughs> you just don't know. <laughs> From now on, I'll call you Uno. No, you're going to call me Trace. <laughs> might have three. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, Kevin. You're trying to make me jealous, aren't you? You? Well, it worked. I'm gonna scratch that bitch's eyes out. Yo. Yo. Hold on, what's up? Josh, your arms are so strong. It must be from pushing that mop back and forth. Back and forth. Look, Kevin. For the last time, I am not gay. I'm here with Crystal, okay? That's I'm not gay. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. But by the end of tonight, I'll have you singing my new hit single. K. There you are. Whoa. Where you been at? Because are you okay? Y yeah. Okay, so anyway, I found us a table right in front of the podium, but I hope you don't mind squinting the rest of the night. I told these ladies you suffer from glycoma. It's the only way they give up their seats. No problem. Okay, go ahead. Hey, uh, wait, wait, wait. Did you tell anybody you was coming in? Or invite anybody? Like family, friends, anything like that? No, why? No reason. <laughs> Go and get these seats. Crystal. Crystal. I've been trying to call you for the past couple of nights and tell you that whole flower thing is just a hoax. Really, Damien? Are you referring to your great night in bed? Right there. Key word, great night. Well, we can all use some more. Right, right, right. So, um, this is not the time nor the place. We're discussing your shortcomings, Damien. Shit, boy. My God, you clean up well, man. I, I didn't almost recognize you. Without your shit bucket. Where is that, by the way? Hey, excuse you. His name is Joshua, and we are here together to enjoy this evening. We don't need your insults. You're here to enjoy my award, my award dinner with this guy. Him. Of all people. Crystal, what? What's become of you? I don't think it is. You know what? That shit bucket you was talking about? It's out back. You go jump in where you belong. We can go there right now. You can say a number of words. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated as we are about to begin tonight's festivities, beginning with the award for the most outstanding neurochemist of the year. His recent work on developing a neurochemical that induces hallucinations and paranoid psychosis has landed the biggest contract with the government to oversee the creation of new biological warfare systems. He's a mad scientist. <laughs> He's a genius. Damien Bess. This award tonight, it rains hollow. I mean, I do appreciate the minds of my incredible staff my hard-working co-workers, but I'm unable to celebrate due to a broken heart. This is so sad. Oh, so this bitch you finna marry. Excuse you? Wow. You know what? I don't want his Michael Ely looking ass anyway. Molly and Percocet, y'all go good together. Mask on. Okay, I wish I had made a serum to make people tell the truth. If I had, I'd give some to shit boy. What? What? That's right, Dr. Dawkins. I'd give some to this guy. Dad? You see, earlier this week, someone by the name of Kurt Williams sent a dozen roses to my office and made some sort of sick joke to make the love of my life feel jealous. I don't understand. Sh Kurt? Sharon? You know these people, don't you, shit boy? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? The car used belonged to Kurt. Sharon had to sign in at the front desk. Kurt and shit boy here has the same address. Coincidence? I think not. You stay away from my daughter, you, 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 you shit boy. Crystal, 
Let me explain. So you were threatening my family, you sick son of a bitch. Daddy, what are you doing here? I came against my better judgment to support my future son-in-law. What are you doing here canoodling with him? Canoodling? Yeah, that's what you do before making whoopee. You better not be making whoopee with one of my patients. Your patient? Yes, yes, yes. This bastard is a delusional, maladjusted, dangerous delinquent with a side of schizophrenia. Those of you lacking in scientific terms, Shit boy. He's hyped up on Ritalin and Persec and God knows what else. D Daddy, I bought him dinner. Yeah, that better be all that you did for him because he's a bum. <sighs> I looked you in your eyes and thought I saw the soul of a beautiful man. But I see now you're nothing but a sick con artist. I hope you get the help you need. It's okay. <sighs> Dan. Says belong, baby. Hey, shit boy, that bucket out back, what you go jump in? He played with my heart, too. And I was going to have his baby. Doctor, come quick. He's awake. I'm sorry. Shh, it's okay. Just wait for the doctor to get here. I'm sorry. Don't say anything right now. Wait for the doctor. Okay. All right. Mr. Gibson. Okay. Let me just see here. Let's see if he's feeling any pain. Okay. How many fingers am I holding up? Mr. Punjabi? Who the hell is Mr. Punjabi? How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, two. Okay. Can you state your full name for me? It's Joshua James Gibson. Okay. Now, could you tell me the current time, month, and date? I don't know. Okay. It's now 11 p.m., June 18th, 2018. Did you say 2018? Yeah, 2018. Still a little groggy, but uh, he's made it through the woods. Okay? I think he's going to be just fine. I'm going to go make some notes. Okay, thank you. I was so afraid for you. I thought you were going to leave me. Never. I thought I was going to lose you. I'm so sorry, Josh. I would be. I don't want to be shocked. I lied to you. I should have just been honest from the jump. I should have just told you the truth. Just doesn't look hurt and shine like that. Baby, you, you're rambling. You know, a boyfriend of mine came to our wedding and he poisoned you. I know. I figured that much out. I thought he'd put me in some, some time machine for the last seven days of 11 to 2013. What? No. You've been in a coma for the past seven hours. It's been the longest seven hours of my life. I'm sorry. Babe. I understand that. 
Yeah, love. I would cheat. Steal. Beg and borrow. There's nothing. Nothing. Nothing that I want to do for you. Watch me. took too long to know what he wanted in a relationship. Three years is long enough to know whether you're gonna commit to a person or not. I'm so glad I moved on and I found you. Yeah, me too. What happened to Damien? She says I'm here. Joaquin caught him and from what the crowd says, he gave Damien an Olympic size beat down. <laughs> He stayed by his side the entire time, crying like a fool. Somebody called an ampelam. <laughs> He's a good friend, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I actually think I heard that part. <laughs> Call the ampelam. Call the ampelam. Call the ampelam. Call the ampelam. So, babe, you still want to marry me after a day like today? <laughs> okay, down. Presenting Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Gibson. <laughs> You? Who else going to come to this war zone looking for your tired self? Daddy, daddy. <laughs> Woo! Get me away from them. Away from who? When'd you get so fat? You know, after the divorce, my new girl been feeding me pretty good. Who, baby, is this? It's you and your half albino wives. What? Last thing I remember was at the wedding. You was my best man, and that's all I remember. Man, not this mess again. I swear I'm not crazy, but I just might be for you. Hey, everybody, everybody, what's going on? Now, listen, hey, hey, hey. I want everybody to calm down. It's almost time. Well, it is time. I mean, how's it going to be almost time? And it is time, and I'm standing. Never mind. We're going to go ahead and announce girl Kimmy stuff here and everything. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, come on, give me, give me, give me the hand. Give, give. All right, now, now his recent, excuse me, his most recent work, you know, uh, uh, you know, he developed a, a, a neurochemical that includes hallucinations. <laughs> I, I see you. Yeah, hallucinations and, and uh, uh, paranoid psychosis, and, 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 and he, yeah, he, it landed the, the, the biggest contract with the government. To oversee the creation of, of a new bylaw. Uh, 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 see, this y'all smart in, in this school. That's why give yourself another hand because. Anyways, uh, uh, the, the, the government we, we was right there, right? The government uh, uh, just to oversee the creation of a new biological world. Uh, 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 not warfare, warfare, warfare twice. Yeah, the warfare system, y'all. That's right. Something, something good, something positive, and everything like that. So, uh, 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 anyways, 
It's Damien Bell. That's the plan, man. It's hot. It's hot, man. It's the plan.